New at 10, with anti-Semitism on the rise around the country and the world, the Reagan Library is welcoming the first ever traveling exhibit from Auschwitz. A Holocaust-era prisoner's uniform is being installed at the Reagan Library for the exhibit, Auschwitz, not long ago, not far away. Auschwitz was Adolf Hitler's biggest concentration camp during World War II, the site where more than 1.1 million people, men, women, and children, were murdered. Luis Ferrero is director of the traveling exhibition, which will be here for the next 10 months. This actually came from Auschwitz? Yes. From Auschwitz. He says there are 700 original artifacts here. Behind all these numbers of victims, there are individuals, there are personal stories, and that they were very much people like us. When the Jews arrived at Auschwitz, got off the trains, they would take their possessions from them. Right over here, these are all original possessions that were taken out of the suitcases of the Jews from Auschwitz. We have to preserve them because it's the only thing that actually uh, survived from one individual. A woman's shoe, a hairbrush, eyeglasses, a prayer shawl, all of them representing an individual lost, including so many children. It's a truly emotional, somewhat breathtaking experience. John Highbush is the executive director of the Reagan Presidential Foundation. He says Reagan himself would have approved bringing this display to Simi Valley as a history lesson for all. The Holocaust was you know, probably the most a terrible moment in the history of mankind. And it's on display here to remind people of where hatred can go in a society. There's a ballot showing Hitler's democratic election in Germany, personal items from Hitler's loyalists, the boots of SS guards who decided who would head to the gas chamber and whose lives would be spared, and the steel door of that crematorium oven. This is one of the most emotional spots. The Nazis would drop a gas canister from up there down here. It would then be released. Everybody in the room would die and then they'd bring that canister back up. There's a quote from Auschwitz survivor Primo Levi. Quote, it happened, therefore it can happen again. This is the core of what we have to say. It can happen, and it can happen everywhere. Anti-Semitism, without a doubt, has been on the upswing here in the United States and around the world, and uh, exhibits like this are meant to combat that. The exhibit opens to the public on Friday. You can get tickets at reaganfoundation.org. They've already sold over 40,000 tickets. It's the highest demand of any exhibition they've ever done there. So very powerful. Is there something for kids or schools? Yeah, there's a big emphasis on bringing kids there, yes. including a special scholarship program for some low-income schools that may not be able to afford uh, us to get there. They're going to be paying for their buses, paying for their tickets, trying to get as many kids mm -hmm. in there as possible and teach this lesson. Something we all should see. Yeah. All right.